Alright everybody, this is Eternal Blade here and welcome to the Flintlock Pistol Tutorial. Uh, this is the introduction to our Flintlock Pistol. Uh, this is going to be a modeling tutorial. I'm going to split it out into six different parts and the entire tutorial length will be about five hours. So prepare to sit back and enjoy the uh, show, whether you're just watching for fun or if you're trying to learn a few tips and tricks. I go over the process of modeling this Flintlock Pistol entirely from scratch using uh, polygon and box modeling techniques as well as using uh, subdivisions for the stock and the more organic shapes. Um, in part one we're going to start with the barrel where you can judge the width and the depth and the height of the model and from there we'll just progress on, progress on and slowly finish up the mechanical pieces um, and everything else. I'm using Autodesk 3ds Max 2014 64-bit however with the techniques I show here you can do this in just about any version of Max all the way back up until 3ds max 9 or something so don't worry um, also if you're using another package such as Maya uh, SolidWorks or any of the others um, the same technique should hold true um, I'm basing it off of a reference image that I show you how to get online which is this one right here so don't fret um, it's pretty much identical to what we've created here so I think it overall turned out pretty good and I hope that you'll learn something from this and be able to take it away and use it with your own models. Um, so without any further ado, um, if you'd like to continue on, part one awaits and I will see you on your five hour journey. This is Eternal Blade, make sure to like and subscribe and good luck modeling.